one green m m cheers she's wrapping up she's almost done got my whiskey and ginger ale and i'm a happy boy okay uh, we've got a couple changes i made um it's all pretty much wrapped up uh, good to go change the feed point put in an so 239 you see that right there into a three-quarter inch pvc with a cap and uh, brought the driven element right into the cap soldered it on and the way you go that ain't going anywhere uh, it's feed point I've got uh, here's a little thing I don't know if you can see this uh, this is basically a knob uh, tightens a strap when it goes on the stand keeps it from spinning in the wind to rotating okay the biggest changes are up here I gained some efficiency by running a parallel loop, a parasitic loop. Um, this is configured currently for 40 meters. So instead of running the coil, it's still it's still a coil. So uh, comes off the uh, one leg of the capacitor, goes around, and comes jumps across to this next loop, and terminates over here at the other end of the capacitor. Same as before, it's just configured a little different. Uh, I put in some stops here, uh, these nuts, screws, bolts, whatever you want to call them. It helps maintain the alignment of the loops because they were kind of going like that. Um, this is an additional stop. Uh, so uh, this is set up for 40 meters. I checked, uh, checked it out and I, I'm getting, having to put in about uh, 40 picofarads of capacitance to get it to load indicating it's right up in the 80 80 percent efficient range down about 1 db uh, which is not noticeable uh, so that's fantastic uh, loads up beautiful on 40 and now if i if i remove this i spin this out remove this strap and i put in basically two bus bars made out of this copper strapping connects here and here and that's how i run it for 20 meters i gained excellent efficiency on 20 meters by doing this up in the 90 plus percent range on 20 um, but just by adding an additional element uh, very little capacitance to uh, tune so there you go uh, that's it and I have the uh, uh, matchmaker the MFJ matchmaker which I'll be showing you shortly how that works I figured out how to use it and uh, we'll run through the tuning process using the matchmaker without keying the radio I will be keying the radio just to check the SWR, uh, just to verify and to show you what it looks like. Uh, pretty neat little device. Uh, nice if you're uh, jumping around on the band. Be back. Okay, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run through the MFJ, the MFJ212, uh, called the Matchmaker. Uh, this enables you to tune your radio, tune your antenna, rather, um, without keying the radio. Uh, without putting out a carrier and uh, I'll show you how it works uh, what I usually do is I uh, I roll the uh, I just took it out of tune so the first thing I do with the mag loop is I roll the uh, capacitor until I until I get to the point of maximum receive so let's do that That's about an S9, so that's pretty good. Uh, so what we do now, kick the matchmaker on, and we're going to watch for the signal strength meter to drop. And when that drops and then levels off, then we know we're tuned. And I'll check the tune with the SWR meter just to show you. So we kick the, push the button on the matchmaker, key that up. And now we roll the capacitor. See it dropping? And that looks pretty good. It was full scale there, and now it's down, uh, it dropped. So we can shut this off. And what we'll do is we'll go over to the SWR meter and show you how neat and effective it is. 
So let's head over the SWR meter. Let's back up. We'll key the rig. Look at that. That is amazing, isn't it? Needle just barely moves. There you go. That is the matchmaker. Neat little device for sure. Uh, no need to be uh, keying the radio anymore. K1 GMM. Um, very neat. So there you go. There's a little demo of the matchmaker. Uh, not sure if I'm going to go. Uh, I don't. I'm not quite comfortable enough with this yet to go out without this. But then again, I have an SWR meter in the radio. So there you go. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. That's a wrap, folks. Uh, we'll see. I think we've got a geomagnetic storm running, which is making the bands ugly. So I don't know if I'll be playing radio at all. Maybe tomorrow if uh, things settle down. 7-3 all. Thanks for watching these videos and uh, best of luck uh, everyone in uh, your construction of a magnetic loop, however you do it. Uh, it's a neat, neat antenna. Uh, fantastic antenna and get you on to at least 40 through 15 uh, mine loads from 75 through 15 meters with at least 71% efficiency with uh, considerably higher on all the bands. So there you go. 7-3.